Well, Kaliningrad is the place to be tonight. England against Belgium, one of the showpiece games of the group stage of this World Cup. There's been so much talk about what to go in terms of team selection, how to go about the game. At the moment, England at top of the group on fair play. How do you see this one panning out? Well, <clears throat> there's, I fully understand that the, the, the question is how do you keep everyone involved in a World Cup? But, but in the back of my mind, this is a World Cup joke. You cannot plot your way through a group. You cannot say, oh, he needs a, he's a run out, he hasn't. You know, they should be up to, st up to full speed. If not, training needs to be such that it is. I think, he, you know, of course you don't want to risk too many who have been yellow card. You've seen what happened yesterday. Lost to Switz, Shah and, and Lichstein, big players. So that's disappointing. So you don't want to do that. So one or two is fine. I wouldn't want to see four or five for either side, really. Who do I think is the better team on paper? Probably Belgium. But I just think there's a wave of euphoria coming around the England camp. And I think that's mainly down to the manager. He's handled it brilliantly. I love the way he's celebrated, even though it's against a, you know, a, a very poor Panama side. Can they... This, this has got to have goals in it, Joe, because there's been weaknesses in both defence. They look vulnerable. They really have. The, it, the chances that <laughs> Tunisia created early on against... Belgium were quite stark, so there'll, there'll be there'll be great chances for England to score. There's goals in the game. How do I call it? I think if if I think he might rotate heavily, um, Martinez. So I'm going to say I'm going to say the England euphoria keeps going and England sneak the game.